week's edition of Hanky Panky. Today we're going to show you something um, that I call the Christmas edition. I'm going to show you about an angel that I've been making um, out of hankies probably for probably a good 15 years. Um, even before I had the great love that I do of hankies, um, I started making these as a project. I don't know if any of you are familiar with uh, Project Angel Tree, but we would make put angels that we would put little tags on and hang them on a tree in the back of our church. And you would take an angel um, that had a child's name attached to, and you would buy them a gift in uh, in their parents' name. They would be a children of a prisoner. So I started doing these as just as an incentive for the people to take an angel off the tree, they would get a little bit of a gift in addition to being able to buy a, ch a child a gift. So what we're gonna start with today is, um, you can, and they don't have to be um, Christmas themed hankies. I have done them in blue and purple. Um, it's a great way to use a hanky that might have a little bit of a flaw in because you're not gonna see the flaw, but, um, I just think there's so many different Christmas designs. Uh, the hanky I'm choosing to use now um, is, it's very pretty. It's got poinsettias and wreaths on. But you can use, uh, you can use hankies that have embroidery on. You can use hankies that are completely covered. It's totally up to you what you decide to use and what you decide that your, your ribbon is going to be made out of. What we will need today is one hanky. Um, you can use a cotton ball, which I'm choosing to use today, but I have used small styrofoam balls that you can buy. Um, today I have a little piece of beading that's about two inches long. Um, if you look on this hanky, you're going to see that it's not actually a piece of beading. It is one of those, uh, it's a a little fake wedding band. You can get them in the wedding supply and these are pre-done so you can get them in gold and silver so these are nice to use because it makes it a little bit easier but I'm out of those today so I'm going to use the beading. I've, I've used that before so you're going to cut yourself a two inch piece. We need about a two foot piece of ribbon. Today I'm using just a, a regular velveteen um, craft ribbon because that's what I have today but you can use just about everything. Um, I've even used pieces of lace which are absolutely beautiful. Um, you're going to need another piece, a smaller piece of craft ribbon and that too can be of your choosing, anything like that. And that's about, that's about 18 inches. You can play around with this, nothing is exact. You're going to use some craft wire. All right. And what you're going to do is that you're going to get your cotton ball or your small styrofoam ball and you're going to find the center of your hanky. It's easy on this because there's a little circle there of poinsettias. And what we're going to do is that's where the angel's head's going to be. So just lay your hanky nice. You want to be able to see the pretty design. Just play around with it a little bit like that. And what I've pre-done here is I've taken about a 10 inch piece of the wire. I have taken the ribbon, my craft ribbon, I folded it in three, and I just scrunch it up like that. And we're going to, I've already have one pre-done, so I can show you a little quicker. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap the wire around the piece of, of either your ribbon or your lace, whatever you decide to use. All right, we're going to take the hanky that has a little cotton ball and we're going to use it to form the angel's head. Just twist it a little bit. All right. Okay, and then we're going to wrap it back around because we're going to, that is going to be used as the ornament hanger when we're done. Turn it around, see where the wire is. Now you're going to use your glue gun and now we're going to attach the halo and like I said you can use um, you can use one of those little fake wedding bands if you'd like. This I'm just going to give a little circle of the glue. 
The nice thing about this is that if you should decide that you no longer want it to be a hanky, the glue does come right off. No longer want it to be a hanky angel. You can reuse it. See how simple that is? Makes it a nice little crown. Then we're going to take a piece of the craft ribbon. And what we want to do is we're going to tie it around the neck. Make it as small or as large as you'd like. Right. Plus with the bow a little bit, we want it to lay pretty. Now, you may want to trim the ribbon, but that is totally up to you. Let's see how it's going. What you're going to do is then we're going to turn it around. We're going to take the piece of wire that's left, and we're going to use it to form a hook, something that you can hang your hanky. Just twist it. Forms a nice little circle in the back, like that. That way you have something to hang. As you can see, this is very, very easy to do. And like I said, I have done it with purple and blue and lace. This one here is actually with a wired piece of um, ribbon, which makes it nice because you can then you can fluff out the the wings. You can do the wings in as many layers as you'd like. This one, as you see, then I took a little gold um, flower and put that as a decoration at the at the ribbon. But the possibilities are endless. Um, not only different colors, but different ribbons, different embellishments, different kind of halos like lace or ribbon or different widths of ribbon, different kind of um, embroidered hankies or flowered hankies. I did one for a friend that had her name on the front. So there's a lot of different variations that you can come up with. Um, it is a very pretty thing to add to a gift. Um, I have given these to a lot of friends over the years. I pick their favorite color and then I attach this to their gift. Um, it's just something a little bit personal. It doesn't cost a lot to do, just the price of a hanky. And whatever, if you're a crafty person, you have all of these things around your house. It's, so it's very, very easy to put it together. Um, I've seen a couple of different variations of hanky angels, but I kind of like this one the best. I just think it's, um, I saw one where they actually use the hanky to form their wings. I kind of prefer the ribbon. I think it looks prettier. But see the back of it? Very, very pretty. Well, I hope you've, you've enjoyed this um, week's edition of Hanky Panky, and I'm, I'm here wishing you a very Merry Christmas, and uh, look back. If there's something in particular that you'd like to see or um, learn about hankies, just leave me a message in the comments, and I will make sure that I, I try to get to that for you. And uh, once again, Merry Christmas. Thank you for joining us today at Hanky Panky Vintage Land. If you have any questions about what we've talked about today, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. If you've seen any hankies or linens that you like in today's video, they may still be available. Please visit my eBay store. A link to that and my contact information is in the video description.